Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 102 of Ocean Walk. <laughs> um, yes, today we're back here playing with the mega suit, figuring it out. <laughs> so let's, let's see what we got. I did figure out how to get the modules on, the units on. So it's pretty cool. Look at this. Oh! <laughs> did you see the cool lightning? I love it. Um, I fried the sleep through the rain, but it's not nighttime. It's not storming, so it won't let me. <sighs> okay, so let's go check this out. It's pretty cool. Um, according to the wiki, you needed to have uh, this modification station in order to add the units up. It, it wasn't clear at first, like how you're supposed to install these, but I figured it out. Uh, it wasn't on the wiki or anything. Uh, it didn't tell you, put this item here and this here and you're done. Um, no. <laughs> but this is in the shape of the card, so it was obvious that the unit goes there. Um, and I thought, you know, you put that little slot here so you could put your piece of armor on there. But um, <laughs> it didn't. It didn't work. So what you have to do is you have to actually put your item over here, and then it installs the card into it. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then you can also access by pushing the backslash key. Um, so you can adjust uh, your options and stuff. Uh oh, kitty, uh, kitty interruption. Hello. Hi, baby. <laughs> okay. Okay, she's done. Just using me as a highway. Um, but I have the um, magnet installed and the radiation shielding installed. Um, and the helmet has an options where you can turn off your, uh, your compass. You can turn that off. You can adjust the opacity of the HUD. So that makes it uh, more solid. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I like it. So what I've got here <laughs> is um, I've been making these. Um, we already did the magnetic attraction unit and the radiation shielding unit. And then I was looking at the teleportation unit and I was like, um, that would be cool. This is something that goes on the mecha tool. So I would be um, basically turning uh, two hotbar slots into one hotbar slot. So I thought that would be really cool. Uh, free up another slot. Uh, so <laughs> I was looking at that and holy cow you have to make antimatter to get this thing. <laughs> so uh, I was like antimatter? Where do you get antimatter? And apparently you can make antimatter um, in a super critical phase shifter from polonium. So I've been turning all my polonium into polonium. Um, can you melt it back down? After you turn it into a solid? Because I've been just turning it all solid. Uh, but we'll have to start thinking about using this polonium to make antimatter. And um, 
Yes, there's another multi-block structure for mechanism that is really super cool. <laughs> it involves the supercharged coil, which I'm really excited about because I wanted to play with this. The first thing I thought of when I heard supercharged coil was Nikola Tesla. <laughs> uh, and I was like, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Um, so <laughs> this is only part of the structure, but it has the cool lightning effect like you see from the magnet, uh, the magnet unit on the boots. Um, that's where I had to install those, by the way. Uh, if you look on the boot, it has four magnetic attraction units. Those are specific to the boots only. Uh, so you can't install them on any other piece, just the boots. Um, so that is super cool. Um, we might... I'm, I'm not sure if there's a limit to the number of units you can add to these. I still don't know, but uh, I, I want to find out. Uh, I would like to get the solar recharging unit. Um, and for sure, and uh, that will help uh, with the usage of the power because um, <laughs> this this is going to be running off of my wireless, um, which is already being drained by you know my conic chest piece and all my uh, other little doodads that I'm carrying around. So <laughs> yeah, I need to, I don't know how much this is, is there a way to use tell how much it's producing? It's, it's only generating 19,000. Oh, that's because this is the blazing reactor still. This is the nitro reactor that's producing 83,000. I should probably upgrade this. <laughs> I have the stuff for it. It's um, weird. Okay. I don't know why I didn't upgrade that, especially after I tore those other ones down. I should definitely do that. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm not getting a whole lot from this infinite, so a little bit would help. So let's see if we can do this for the um, solar recharging unit. Oh, they stack up to eight. Um, yeah. And it only goes in the helmet. But what about the energy units? So that, that goes in everything, even the tool. And it stacks up to eight. Wow, okay. So, but I definitely want eight of these. And we'll, oh my goodness, look at that. And I, it's a good thing I already taught at the advanced solar generator when I put those out on the um, evaporation towers. Um, so it, it knows how to make all that stuff. Um, let's do this. Let's do, uh, this will make it a lot easier. And then the base. Just get those in there. Um, Haha. -ha. Okay. <laughs> so now we just need to wait for these advanced solar generators and. Good. There's four, five, 
One more. <gasps> Six. Nice stack. Nice. Eight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> gonna be awesome um so i guess we could just put that there and then just let this guy go now i wonder if this affects um like how much power it takes if you add stuff i'm not sure So we can get rid of the solar charging unit. I mean, that would be cool, but I'm not sure that's 100% necessary. What is, that's for the mecha tool. This goes on the pants. Oh, um, and I did find out that um, what is it called? Mecha. Mecha. Charge distribution. Oh, we need charge distribution too, I think. Oh. Um, the jetpack unit is like using a jetpack, but the the unit that does the gravitational modulating unit that is like having creative flight so i was thinking um of course once we get into antimatter that this would be a nice upgrade to free up um, the three by three that flight takes in the draconic chest piece that could be more shield uh, capacity and, and recharge rate and whatnot. Uh, so that would be cool if we ever get into antimatter, which I, I want to do because um, <laughs> it looks really cool. Um, I definitely want to get that. So I'm going to put that. I'm going to put that up there. Um, yeah i guess i could also do the nutritional injection unit to free up another two slots on the chest piece too um although i don't know how this one work works but i'll find i can find out um so maybe we might want to look at this one after all, the nutritional injection unit. Um, especially if it doesn't take up a slot in my inventory like having the steak does. Um, but it's only one slot and I never have to eat again and it keeps, it keeps me full. So I know that I do like it. So if we put it in the, if we put this guy in and we don't like it, we can always change it back. Um, yeah. Um, so let's see. That looks like something we could do. Canteen. Um, yeah, it looks like we could do all of this. And it goes in the helmet, of course. That makes sense. Uh, it's where your face is. Um, automatically feeds the player nutritional taste when hungry. I wonder how you get Nutritional paste. Nutritional paste. And a nutritional liquefier. And it looks like there are a lot of different things you can turn into paste. Is 
there any like normal food? Ooh, you could turn a bacon sandwich into 500 millibuckets. I have bacon sandwiches. Uh, bacon and eggs. Raw bacon is 100 millibuckets. Okay, that's cool. I'm excited about getting to use my bacon sandwiches again. <laughs> so we need a nutritional liquidifier. I wonder if I, I mean, how do I fill it? So let's make this, let's make this. Um, let's see, nutritional unit. We need the canteen. Oh, I know I got some bowls up there, but a canteen, dude, and a dude, and only one is allowed. So let's put this in our helmet. Okay, so, oh look, over in the right hand side, the bottom right, is a little gauge for the nutritional paste. Um, so, <laughs> I guess we need to figure out how to build this. Um, we need the nutritional liquefier. So let's go over we don't really need to go over there. I don't know where I'm at. Um, nutritional liquefier. Oh, and we use two of the bowls. Um, I guess we can set it here. I need to make sure this is getting power because this thing had to have power from the back. I guess I could have changed it if I change it. Uh, it doesn't have a side configuration. So I had to do that. Uh, this one does have a side configuration though. So we'll tell it to get, the, oh, it's input on all sides. Okay, so that's good. Um, yeah, let's get the bacon sandwiches. And we'll just toss that in there. Um, I wonder if I put my helmet over here. Will it go in? Let's try it. <laughs> yes. I love it when things work logically. <laughs> That got us 2%. That will hold a lot of food. Um, yeah. That sounds like a good idea. Um, then it's storing the food in the helmet and not in my hot bar. So let's let this fill up, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna drink my bacon sandwiches. There we go. I wonder how much steak will get you. Can we use that? Oh, steak is 400 millibuckets, so it's not that much better for the bacon sandwich. So, the steak that I cooked will not go to waste. Sweet. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Um, I guess we can go ahead and... take that out uh, for the Draconic Auto Feed module. 
this is pretty cool though. It's pretty cool. And and then we can put we can put something else in those two slots. Like, I mean, we could probably even put another energy capacity, uh, an energy module in there. That might be pretty cool to add more energy, um, or just more shield boost. Because that's the only other thing that will fit, is the shield boost or on a camera. That is storing a lot. <laughs> that is storing a lot. But we shouldn't need that right away because we're at full saturation and whatnot. Okay, so we got the nutritional paste going. I wonder if I should, once I get that filled up, I should probably look at maintaining like a certain amount of nutritional paste at all times so that if I run if I run out I can just go boop stick my helmet in there and it will just get all the nutritional paste out um, but I don't know is there is there a Fluid storage device for nutritional paste because this thing only holds like maybe 10, 10 buckets worth. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, about 10 buckets worth. Uh, and this is holding way more than 10 buckets. Thank you. 
curious this like I guess I, then I could store the canteen in there have the canteen filled and as my canteen empties I just go get a new one just go get a new one but um, I don't know if that's gonna work so let's take the helmet out put the, can the canteen just goes right in and it is storing the nutritional paste. Sweet. Okay. So let's put this in our inventory. Put this on. Does it take it out? It's at 33% now. Wow, that stores a lot of food. But it doesn't look like it is uh, taking it out of there. Hmm. So it looks like something we just have to manually do once in a while. We can't get it to automatically fill helmet. Oh, deal. So I guess what I could do to help with the situation is I could get it to auto feed steak into here and keep this guy full. in the mechanism uh, stuff, but I could teach it to make steak and keep that full, but I currently don't have an income of steak. I just have what's out of the mob farm. Uh, all of the steak. Only 41 stacks left. <laughs> um, so I could just toss all of this stuff in there and that did not work so I'm, I'm not sure how you're supposed to get it out of the canteen I don't know or I don't, I don't know if this works if, if you just... I'm not hungry right now, so I don't know if it would eat, but I don't want to eat from the canister. I want to eat from the helmet. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, I forgot this one. Um, so let's just grab a whole bunch more. set this up um, get steak steak and we need um, beef all right so we need to process teach it um, just to go right here that's where you get the beefs and then you just with the crafter 
work over here? Yes. So if it runs out of the steak that it has, it will make some more. Um, and I guess to help this, I could put upgrades in here. Just speed, energy, and offlane. Let's do upgrade because that'll show both of them. machine stopped <laughs> so that's good um, all right we got that one sweet uh, we can't do this one or this one these are for the tool oh the electrolytic breathing unit um, is pretty cool that sounds pretty cool the dosimer unit that goes in the body armor, locomotive boosting, yes. Okay, let's do the locomotive boosting. Oh, it takes diamond pants for each one. You gotta get a four diamond pants. Oh, wow, let's get you up. I'm sure I'll use you someday. So, what was it? We needed diamond pants. Oh, I better keep those on me. I don't know if my system needs diamond armor or not. I think it does, so just to be safe. Um, and then let's do the energy tablets. There we go, that was a lot easier. Go boop. Uh oh, what was in the middle? Oh, the module base. We need some more of those, too. Yikes. Oh, it's going to make eight anyway, because it makes two at a time. Oh, and I didn't need that many, but I'll probably use them anyway. So, big. 
clear. Locomotive boosting units. That goes in the legs. So let's get those. That sounds like fun. Um, it does, I did read that you can take these out, um, and reuse them in other pieces of armor if it's valid. It's valid to use it. Okay, so it doesn't affect walking speed, but sprinting speed. Oh, that's pretty fast. And it's not like... You know so fast that you can't control it so I like it I like that um, also I think you could adjust it uh, through this nice oh so it's only at the point five so what happens if I turn it all the way up? Whoa! <laughs> okay, that is um, that is too fast. See, so but we can turn it down. Uh, let's try the point two five. <laughs> oh my goodness! So we possibly could have gotten away with just putting three on there this is still this is still really fast really hard to control though uh, so we probably could have gotten away with just putting two on there let's do that because I don't uh, I don't know I don't run that much <laughs> so <laughs> Uh, I guess it's not a big thing. This is like... Okay, that's faster, but it's not so fast that it causes me to lose control and run into things and then stop sprinting, because then you're not sprinting anymore. So I like that. I like that. Uh, so if there's a limit on how many you could have, we could take two of those out. Um, so, you are. Um, what else did we want? Oh, the docimer unit and the electrolytic breathing unit. Yeah. Oh, you can put four in there and it goes in the helmet. Cool. And the Dossmer unit goes in the body armor. This is so cool! Alright, um... And I still would like to put the energy units if possible. Um, so, but I want to get the Dossmer unit. What is that? Okay. There's the Dossimer unit. Yes. And 
Oh, we need four of those. Um, so we need some more iron. Iron. an extra one in there. Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be awesome. Let's get uh, the electrolytic breathing unit installed on the helmet. right over there on the bottom right. I have no idea what that means, but it's 99.999 in SMB. Um, hopefully that means that it's good. Um, I wonder... I got the radiation shielding. I should be able to go out to the reactor safely. Hopefully. It looks like the radiation finally cleared up. Uh, so that's good real good. Uh, looks like my water has finally filled back up. All the tanks on the pumps filled in. Nice. Okay. How's my thistle feel? Oh, it's full. It's got a full one. So I can Pop that off. Take it over here and let this run. It should be fine to run by itself. Because uh, I watched it last time and, and it, it didn't overheat. didn't overheat um, so it should be able to burn all of that fuel without overheating another thing I want to do possibly in between episodes is add another layer or two to all of the um, oh, what do you call those things they're under the control rods um, forgot what the name of them is though I'll figure it out and and possibly add that in between episodes so maybe <laughs> I can uh, hook the thistle fuel up and have a steady supply of thistle fuel if I can be sure that it's not going to overheat <laughs> on me and stuff and then and then uh, if we can supply a steady stream of power uh, we might be able to get uh, to make some antimatter um, and if I increase this size um, this is only at like 50% capacity so um, I can easily add more steam in there and get, and 
take it more out. Um, so that would be cool. That would be really nice. So I think I'm going to do it. Um, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, let me know how your reactor is going. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!